Good evening, everyone. Let me share my screen. Let's start in two minutes as other participants also joining in. And uh, meanwhile, what you can do is if you could introduce yourself, your name, where are you working, and uh, why do you want to learn Excel? Yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. We just completed graduation. Okay, excellent. Others also, please. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Yeah. I think HDFC, you are into which role? Okay. Okay. So you handle a lot of data then. Yes. Every day you get uh, customer related information and yes. most probably in Excel sheets only you get it. Right. And then there may be a few collection executives and you will, you know, they will use that data and go there and collect the money. Right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Online participants, please go ahead. Uh, you know, just introduce yourself, your name, where are you working and what is that you know in Excel? You may want to unmute yourself and you can introduce yourself or you can also use the chat window I mean, just trying to understand uh, uh, from you know what is the background you are coming from okay your name if you are working somewhere you can also include your education qualification and all yeah please go ahead online yeah hi good evening so uh, my name is sachin and uh, <clears throat> i have completed my mca then after uh, Currently, I'm working in LNT Finance right now. And uh, about Excel, I have a basic idea about it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, I see Prasad responding in chat window. Prasad, Fresher, BE. Okay. Thanks for that. Okay, others also online. Please go ahead. Just introduce yourself. Uh, hi, sir. My name is Vinay Kumar and I'm working for uh, Saxet. And regarding Excel, uh, I have a basic knowledge on Excel. Basic knowledge, okay. Others, please, online. Uh, good evening, sir. Hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Andrew Babu. Yeah. I am working in Nacharam, Shrika Seeds. Okay. 
uh, I have uh, already have taken training from Kiran sir in our okay. organization. Okay. So, uh, you you give us training excellent. Yeah. I'm very impressed and giant region in this course, sir. Okay, so this is actually a full length course. There we delivered only a short one. Yes, sir. Okay, got it. Thank you. All right, maybe a few more are there. If you could introduce yourself, then we can start off. Your name, where are you? Yeah, go ahead, please. Hi, I'm Kalpana. I'm working in college as admin. Okay, which, which college, if you don't mind? Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. Anyone else left? Okay. Right then, um, let me introduce myself as well. I'm Kishore and it's been a good 15 plus. This, this presentation is a little outdated. Um, I've been working with these tools only, be it uh, right from Excel, Macros, SQL, S, you know, Crystal Reports, SAP Crystal Reports, SAP Business Intelligence Tools, Power BI, Chablu, ClickView, Power Apps, Power Automate. RPA, Win Automation, Macro Express, Programming Languages, VBA, VBS, um, so many things. And I also work with multiple, you know, different domains. I was into revenue cycle management, uh, uh, you know, uh, IT assets analysis, US healthcare, support center analytics, and a number of th different things. I'm a MCT, Microsoft Certified Trainer. I'm MCP, Microsoft Certified Professional. I'm Deloitte Faculty Certified, I mean, Excellent Certified. Six Sigma certified, uh, ISO internal auditor certified. And I got like uh, multiple certifications from Microsoft also. They are uh, Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Associate certified, PL300 certification. I'm an Excel expert, Word expert, Access expert, PowerPoint specialist, Outlook specialist. Yeah. A good number of certifications, of course, so I could accommodate only a few certifications here. That's my skill. I worked, uh, you know, initially as part of data entry teams, but um, I was able to move to data analytics side later as I got an opportunity to work with the, you know, data analytics teams. Don't uh, assume that I'm away from some technical education background, you know, looking at all these technical tools. Um, I'm BCom, MBA, uh, finance and HR management, okay? So I'm, I'm not from technology background. So what I always say is that if you have the passion of learning this data related things, your education doesn't really matter. You can come from any background, maybe from BA, BCom, BSc, uh, BCheck, MCheck, whatsoever it is. Uh, it's like very easy to you know get into data analytics. And I worked with different companies. I'm currently working as a consultant for multiple companies, but uh, previously, you know, prior to this, I was with uh, Quadratics. They are into artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning, you know, projects development, and I was uh, doing. Uh, supporting, uh, you know, one of the projects with Power BI, descriptive analytics and all. Prior to that, I was with Deloitte. I was with, uh, you know, I was into reporting analytics team there. United Health Group, I was an automation expert there. You know, um, you know companies, probably you may be now looking at uh, uh, companies are like laying off people because of automation and all, right? You may be hearing this a lot. But, uh, 10 years ago, I was doing the same job in uh, United Health Group. I always say this, like my job was to remove the jobs. Okay, I was an automation expert and sit with the team, understand the process and uh, you know, develop the codes and uh, automate the process. That's what I used to do there. Prior to that, I was with uh, iSpace into financial data analysis and uh, a number of tools, you know, different tools, different languages, technologies and all. So a good number of things I learned in these 15 years of my journey. Uh, so I'm currently, you know, uh, I'm like, I'm uh, uh, passion of you know delivering uh, different types of uh, data analytical tool trainings and also Excel is uh, one of those most common things that we use right be it any kind of any kind of data any kind of industry okay so first step is always Excel if you are good with Excel the rest of the tools are like secondary like you may be doing a number of things with Power BI Tableau, Clickview and all 
but the first step is x if you want to quickly analyze the data and for, come up with you know uh, to come up with one uh, poc a proof of concept okay this is how it works if you want to show that we first develop the model in excel only, right you may be talking about a number of tools uh, that are like very very powerful in terms of doing the data analytics but first step is excel if someone is good with excel then it's very easy to learn other tools i had to actually spend good amount of time learning excel only. And later, Power BI was a cakewalk. Chab, nothing. Click view, nothing. Right? So everything looks very much same. The formulas that we learn here, they look very much same in other tools also. So you need to spend, your, your foundation must be good. Right? Then only you can learn the other tools. Okay? So as part of uh, this particular training, as we named it like data analytics with MS Excel, we'll be using MS Excel to do a lot of data analysis. Okay? In this... 30 hours of training program every day it runs uh, for about one hour okay um uh, in the evening time 7 30 to 8 30 is what we plan on weekdays only uh, monday to friday but if really needed if we want to take any weekend uh, you know a couple of hour session maybe for the practice or any doubts clarification and all we will also do that but we'll let you know well in advance so that you can also plan accordingly uh, Not actually, because the, this particular slot, I got a one hour slot here in the evening time. So that's the reason we are uh, running this batch uh, in the evening, 7.30 to 8.30. You may want to switch between offline, online up to you. If you are like uh, not being able to come here, or you are stuck somewhere and you want to take online. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, if you are done just with, you know, just done with office and directly, you know, getting into a session and learning something is like really challenging. I totally agree. No doubt about it. And that's, a, that's the reason most of the people, they prefer morning batches. But there are a few instances wherein, you know, people cannot uh, come in the morning time because they may be staying somewhere and uh, coming here uh, for the session and after that going to office and work. So there are a few, they definitely, you know, prefer uh, taking the evening mm -hmm. sessions. Hmm. Yeah, possible? we understand your concern, but the challenge is that I think most of the people who opted for this session, they are comfortable with the evening time. That's a challenge. And then you, you know, you can obviously switch between, as I said, online, offline, up to you. And if you are interested only in the morning time, we also, you know, every now and then we start morning batches also. Every 15 days, you know, two weeks, we start one morning batch also. You can opt for that. Right. But this evening session is going to be, um, I mean, uh, led by me only, entire session. Um, as part of this session, as I mentioned, it is data analytics using Excel. Uh, good number of functions you will be learning, right? By end of this training program, what is it you can uh, expect from us is you will be doing a couple of projects. One is a profit analysis dashboard. Like uh, this helps us analyzing the business data, how the profits are doing across, uh, you know, a good number of periods. And not only just developing this one, uh, be it any kind of a data set when you get, there are a few rules, okay? We just apply on those things to find out uh, the trends in the data, patterns in the data. There are certain rules. We'll be training you on those kind of rules so that you may be from, you know, marketing department or sales department or IT department, irrespective of the department you are from, you will be able to analyze the data very easily. So there are a few steps for any kind of data analysis, right? We made it like very generic steps so that you can come from any kind of a domain, any kind of an industry, you can easily create these kind of graphs, charts, okay, uh, pivot tables, slicers, right? A number of things you can do. Not only that, and another very, very common thing, once you, you know, become like a team lead or, or you want to analyze your team's performance, okay? Then there is something called performance scorecard. This is another project we do as part of this uh, data analytics with Excel. And it's like uh, quite interesting, you know, you just... Uh, uh, select any of the user names there and it automatically changes the picture and changes the charts and how this person is doing in the last six months how is the trend where does this person stand right what is the rank of this person how is the standard deviation trends and everything we'll be doing it and n number of formulas we'll be learning as part of this training okay this project training right and this is like really useful someone like uh, uh, let's say, you know, manager level and you want to analyze your team's data. Okay, what's happening with my team? Who is doing good? Who is doing bad, right? Where someone requires an improvement. And if, when, I, when I look at this person, let's say Thomas Lewis, okay, I can easily figure out that the, the graph is going down month by month, okay? I can figure out just by going here and I'll select so Thomas Lewis, 
and i can easily say that okay this person is standing on 19th rank earlier this person was in second rank fourth rank suddenly something went wrong you usually see these kind of patterns only when the employee made up the mind to quit the job right so you can easily figure out the attrition rates once you become a team lead or a manager okay. this uh, you know that right. really helps right so you will be trained on this scorecard as well you will be able to you know uh, develop your own scorecard something like this right this is another project we do as part of our training and a good number of formulas are uh, there if there are indirect if there are address formula lookups okay we look up uh, you know uh, and a uh, few things like standard deviations and getting the data from uh, multiple sheets using we look up and indirect combination so many things are there. okay so at this point when you see these things you may be confused and uh, you know how to write these formulas and all but uh, but spend some time with us just like 30 hours you know in the next 30 days you will definitely see the you know the transformation in you how you started today okay and after 30 days how you will be right okay so let me take you through uh, uh, the entire course <coughs> contents yeah we'll be starting from what is excel even if you're very very beginner also is fine okay okay to choose this course uh because we start from the very very scratch what is excel what is a cell that's where it starts okay you may be thinking uh, a few of you okay a few of the participants are already good with excel they are working professionals we are freshers and can i understand this or not absolutely no need to worry we start from what is excel how to open excel for the first one two days maybe for the working professionals you may be finding it little boring i understand because you know already you know a few functions and what is excel spreadsheet and what is a sheet what is a workbook and what is a cell right how excel interface looks and all I understand because you are already working and you are aware of few things. But just to make sure others are also on the same page, the first two days we'll be spending on very very basics of Excel, right? What is Excel? And trust me on one thing: when we discuss these basics of Excel, like user interface and other few things, other few things, you will also get to know that a few quite interesting features that you would have never used also as part of that basics discussion only. Right, you may be with. I'm very much sure you may have a ten years experience working with Excel. Trust me, in the first two days, basics itself, you will find a couple of things which you would have never used there. That they save a lot of time. Right, those kind of things you will learn. But other things like when I talk about what is Excel, what is a spreadsheet, and all, you may be a little, you know, getting bored. So let me uh, give you a heads up about that. But uh, after two sessions, uh, you know, slowly once we get into the data and how to work with the data data types how to identify numbers how to identify a date or you know date formats and things like that you know from there onwards it, it runs really interesting okay and basic excel we learn you know, how to apply the table formats how to format the data and all and then advanced excel there we work with a good number of formats hundreds of formulas we work with and we also have interview questions using uh, different formulas. Okay, we created test papers. We'll be sharing them with you. And it's more like an you know day to day. Uh, you need to complete the tasks and then attend the next session, right? So practice is the key to learn Excel. So you cannot go through uh, hundreds of pages of theoretical thing to learn Excel. People they also ask me like, okay, can I get the theory of this? Yes, there is a file I can. I'll show you as part of the package. The entire package will be shared with you um this whatever i'm showing on my screen and there you have important topics and there you have some uh you know the theoretical uh, material okay available about 100 questions are there and how to perform each and everything it is there but understand one thing someone someone asks like conditional formatting there is no point reading the theory about conditional formatting you will have to apply and see how the result is coming okay otherwise reading something like conditional formatting is a great feature in excel that applies uh, formatting with the help of condition how does it help you get my point an Excel kind of an application, you will have to practice and see the output and then only you will understand it well. I recommend strongly don't read any theory. There is no point, okay? 
reading a theory about VLOOKUP, how it helps. No, nothing. Unless you apply it and see the output, you can't say any, anything about it, right? So material is there, enough material is there along with the test papers and I'll let, I'll let you know when to take the tests and all. Everything has got one uh, small project and along with that interview questions are there. Uh, and finally, what we do is that a dashboard, right? A couple of dashboards. One is a profit analysis dashboard. The other one is the scorecard. Yeah. Fine then, as I mentioned, it is a 30 hours training program and uh, right from basics of Excel to, and you can see yourself designing these dashboards from the scratch. That's what you are going to learn as part of this training, okay? All right. So the entire training, uh, 30 days, Monday to Friday evening, 7.30 to 8.30, online, offline. If you want to attend offline, you will have to visit Amit Pet office only. Online, you will get the Zoom link, okay? Material, coming to the material, the entire material <coughs> package will be uploaded to Google Drive. From there, you can download it and you can also start practicing it. And every day, tests will be given. Not every day, but uh, you know, it depends on the topic, okay? And I'll be giving you the tests and you will have to complete to proceed to the next stage. Done. Training will be driven completely in uh, English. Telugu also is okay. Don't expect Hindi from me, okay? <laughs> very, very bad. <laughs> yeah, I understand, but... Uh, I can understand, but I, I somehow find it really challenging speaking in uh, Hindi, okay? Okay, so as a first step, let me show you how this particular training goes. We start with data. We understand what is data, how it looks, okay? Where the data is stored, how it comes into the systems, right? What are the different data types we see in Excel, right? Once you are good with these data types, then working with the data types becomes very, very easy, okay? We work with, you go to, maybe if you are a working professional, once you go back to your office, tomorrow just check this. We see just the data, five data, five data types, okay? Five types of data. We see text, we see numbers, we see date times, we see the logicals, nothing but true or false, and we see the errors. Other than, other than these five, you don't have any other data type in Excel. We see text, numbers, date time, logicals, and errors. We'll be send, uh, spending some good amount of time understanding all those data types and all. And then we transform that raw data into some meaningful information. We write the formulas, we write so many subtotals and so many other things, and we get some you know meaningful information out of that raw data. Because when you look at the raw data, it doesn't make sense. But once you make it like some meaningful information, yes, you can figure out, okay, what's happening. But looking at so much of uh, information also creates a lot of confusion, okay? If you have thousand rows of information, you don't know what exactly happening. So what is that we do? We summarize the data, okay? We summarize the thousand rows of data into maybe a three or four lines, okay? And what is that we do? We visualize the data, okay? You get a question like after summarizing this data into three or four lines, what, what is the point of still doing a data visualization. Let me show you why the data visualization is needed. I'll uh, show you one quick example about data visualization after data summary or after data summarization. You have some, uh, you know, information here. Okay, instead of this, let me open uh, this one. Okay, so you have some information here, like uh, regions are there, profits are there, okay, and number of things. And I want to create what a quick pivot table to summarize this data. Okay, I'll just take the pivot table. I'll explain step by step. I'm just showing you only a, uh, a demo, like why the data visualization is needed. Um, so what I want to do is I want to create a pivot, the region name and the total profit like this. You see? This helps us getting a summary out of this raw data, okay? So if you are being able to see the summary like this, then what is the point of data visualization? You may get a question, everything is there, like central, you know, all that stuff. I'll give you only five seconds, okay? Five seconds, understand the question and answer this. Question is this, which region has the least profit? Time started, one, two, three, 
Central. Central. Yeah. Okay. Central has the least profit. Okay. Who is the central manager? Chris. So let's assume that you are being the head of the business and you just now analyze your business data and the regional uh, manager's data is here. And you just, you know, figured out that Central has the least profit. And you write an email to Chris. Hi, Chris. And you are the boss of the company, okay? Hi, Chris. You are fired. Okay? You know, because Chris has the least profits and you are not happy with the performance and you fired Chris. Okay. But let me do a small addition to this pivot table in the form of a visual, nothing but a chart. Okay? Go back. Keep the cursor there, insert, and I'll insert one fiber table, a chart. Which region has the least profit? One, two, three, four. Both. Why your answer has changed? Last time you said center. No, other said other said central. After that, I said center. Yeah. Because when you look at the numbers, when I gave you five seconds, you are looking at the length of the number, not the value of the number. It's actually 2,87,000 and this is 2,31,000, right? So even after doing the data summarization, we'll still get confused, right? So many numbers and uh, doing, uh, you know, coming up with an insight is going to be challenging when you show your data in the form of a table or a number. And scientifically also it is proven that uh, human minds can easily understand colors and pictures than the numbers or tables, right? So that is why data visualization is important and that is your fourth step, okay? This is where we talk about what kind of visual. And another interesting thing is most of the places, I'm very much sure, even if you are an expert with the, you know, dashboards and all, the always the challenging thing is that which type of chart should I need to use? I have some data, but you know, a few of the dashboards, the moment you look at them without giving any explanation, also you can figure out what that dashboard is trying to tell us. But sometimes what happens, even if it is a, you know, a nice, beautiful, colorful dashboard is there, but unless someone explains each and everything, until then, you know, you, you can't actually, you know, understand what's happening in the business. The difference is this, choosing the right type of the charts. So we have come up with a visual, that gives us clarity about what type of chart you need to use. I'll uh, take you through the, you know, actually in the Power BI training, I take you through each of, each and everything. But as part of Excel also, I'll give you, you know, little, uh, uh, I'll tell you a little background of what is that you need to choose, why you need to choose all that stuff. But actually this is meant for Power BI because Power BI is meant for a lot of data, visual analytics, okay? But in Excel also, we do the visuals, right? So I'll cover this one, okay? So this is where most of us, we struggle choosing the right type of the chart. After this session, you will understand uh, which type of chart you need to use for which type of data, right? So this gives us like comparison, distribution, composition, relationships and all. I'll, I'll take you through this, right? So this particular course, yeah. So once you are done with the visualization using the right type of the chart, the next step is analyze, okay? Looking at the chart, uh, you know, dashboard and uh, slices and all, you just click a couple of filters and find out what's happening. And finally, print product or share. What is that we do? We print it. If the dashboard is finalized, we print it. Or uh, if you are sharing with someone, we use any sharing technique like via email or uh, share drive or something. And then finally, we protect. Let's say if you are keeping this file on a share drive and uh, if anyone uh, gets into the file. I mean, you have any doubt or something like someone may be manipulating the data or changing the numbers and all just to prevent that. What is it we do? We protect it. So with that, our Excel training will be done, right? Right from the data fundamentals to how to build a dashboard and how to protect it. This is what we are going to learn. Everything is like a practical approach only, no theoretical stuff. A number of examples will be given. And along with that, as I said, uh, test papers are also there. And, you know, we, we start with very, very basic tests and slowly we, you know, we increase the complexity of the questions. Um, but uh, as I mentioned, trust me on this, today, whatever you knew in Excel, in a couple of days, you will understand that there is a lot to learn in Excel. Because the last 15 years, I've been closely working with this tool and a number of things, a number of templates I've created and a number of projects I've worked with. So we actually don't get, uh, you know, opportunity in the office to implement all those different features of Excel. 
once you join an office, you know, people usually say, if you know these two things, we look up and pivot table, your job is done. But other than that, there are so many, you know, thousands of features in Excel. And if you learn all of them, like you kind of get, you know, any kind of data, right? And you can you can easily transform that into uh, some meaningful information and quickly create the pivots and uh, dashboards. That is a skill you are going to learn, right? Okay, so showing you the course contents and the different stages. And this is our Excel training file throughout the uh, training. I'll be using the same file right from, as I said, what is that you are going to learn and about Excel. This is where you may be finding a few things a little interesting, but majority of the things most of you are aware. But there are a few things definitely, you know, find them really, really interesting. Okay. So we'll be using all these different uh, sheets with the data, examples, all the almost all real time best practices we kept there. Okay. This entire material package will be shared with you. The other, uh, you know, thing is that right after the training, you will be getting uh, the recorded video as well that comes with a, a limited validity. There is a reason why we kept it as a limited validity because it's my own experience, okay? Four, four, no, not four. Close to five years ago, I bought a course on Udemy, okay? And it's very much needed also for me. It is all about the presentation skills using any kind of data. Later, I learned the skill using, you know, different real-time examples and all. But my objective was to complete that course within one month's time. It, it was only any 12 hours course. You know what? It's been close to five years. I completed only 15% of the course, which is nothing but one, one and a half or maybe a two hours, maybe. What I'm trying to tell you is that if that sense of seriousness is not created, that you know something is you know you're going to lose after some time, because they gave me a lifetime validity, and I'm very much sure I think after ten years also the course remains the same, at the same level of completion. So that's the reason we have kept this okay a timeline, so that that creates some sense of seriousness. Otherwise we will never learn. Learn. And we all know right you know unless that uh, you know uh, there is some uh, kind of time limit, we don't learn. So stick to the plan, one month, learn it. Otherwise it will never happen in our life, right? So the other thing also is the same thing. Whenever I go for a certification, what I usually do is that if I have decided to go for a certification, without learning the tool, I book the slot with 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, whatever the certification fee is, I'll book the slot. Why? Then it creates the seriousness. And I'll somehow need to take out the time and learn it. Otherwise, I'll be losing the money. Right? Unless we put ourselves under some pressure, our mind is always, you know, our mind always wants some relaxing mode. Right? We take it like very light. So that's the reason there is a validity. Right? So please stick to the plan. One month, you can definitely see the transformation. But without practicing, no way that you can learn this. Let me tell you one more thing clearly. If you cannot invest a 30 to 45 minutes every day after the class or maybe before coming to the class, there is no point you are being in the class. Unless your IQ levels are so high and you listen to it once and if you can remember it, right? Most of the people, you know, we can't do that. We will have to practice to remember, right? My recommendation is this, at least every day, 30 to 45 minutes, you will have to spend it. But if you don't find like, no, I can't spend it, I don't think it is the right course for you. There is no point. You will be just simply wasting your time and money. Right? So every day, keep that 30 to 45 minutes time. Whatever the topics are done, please go back home, open the same material, practice it. Then only you can see the change in you. Otherwise, no. Yeah. Okay. So visualization important we discussed, stages we discussed, what all things will be covered during this training will be discussed. And as a, as part of uh, this training, both the projects I showed you, okay. Um, this material package, entire package will be uploaded into Google Drive. And from there you can download, I discussed. And every day, usually on the same day, the training will be, I mean, the training video will be uploaded. Uh, but sometimes if it takes little time to conversion, uh, time for the conversion, then uh, you, uh, the next day 
morning between 7 to 8, it will be uploaded. Okay, before you attend the next session. Uh, one month uh, right after the course. After the course. After the course. Right? Yeah. So, test papers are there. I'll let you know when to take these tests and all. Okay. So, after learning a few topics, I'll let you know, okay, you can take the test. We'll be sharing a few online links also for the test. Online test papers also be created. You can take it from any mobile device. Okay. And you need to submit the answers and all. Right. So, it's going to be more uh, interactive one only. Today, as I'm explaining uh, all the topics, I'm not asking questions, but it's usually not like this. And I'll, I'll explain a topic and I'll be asking questions. Right. Yeah. So, other than these things, whatever I exp I've explained just now, do you have any other expectations from this training? No. Online participants? So, after completion of the course, uh, will there be any placement assistance or guarantees? Yes, we also do this uh, placement assistance program and uh, we get, uh, you know, different openings uh, that are available in the market and company HR, uh, recruitment teams, they reach out to us regarding these Excel openings and all, Excel, MIS, reporting analyst and all. So we send our students, right? If you are looking for placement assistance in terms of, you know, preparing your resume, preparing your uh, LinkedIn profile and uh, taking the mock interviews and all, you can also reach out to the front office there. We are offering, uh, you know, uh, placement assistance module okay. uh, after completion of the course also you can reach out to them and ask for the placement assistance module uh, there are charges for this because we take care of creating your resume and uh, you know uh, a professional uh, resume uh, linkedin profile updation and taking the mock interviews and uh, giving you a feedback report okay where you need to improve and all that okay a dedicated trainer will be there for you and that person will be taking care of all this process okay. Uh, that you need to talk to the front office on it. Then they will let you know. Maybe after the completion of the course also, let's say, if you are finding yourself comfortably able to, let's say, crack the job, let's assume you are with that skill towards the end of the session, I mean, the entire course, then you only can go ahead and apply it online and you will get it. But otherwise, if you want to get any support from us, you can always reach out to the front office. They will arrange a trainer for you. Yeah. And you will also get the course completion certificate. Uh, once you are done with this course and uh, if you want to go for Microsoft certifications, you would have seen those things on my uh, resume. If you really want to keep these badges and all, right, you will have to write online exams. Uh, Excelitix is an authorized test center, Microsoft authorized test center to conduct all these certifications. Um, if you are looking for that, we'll also conduct special training programs for the certification itself. We'll share the required project files and all so that you can also go for the exam. And once you finish the, I mean, complete the exam, uh, you will get a badge from Microsoft along with one unique identification number, which is globally accepted. If you are a Microsoft Excel certified, okay, very simple thing. If you are looking for a job, okay, and companies, they, they expect those Excel skills for sure. Okay, be it any kind of a role, they expect some Excel skills. And if they ask you a question like, are you good with Excel? Your answer may be, yes, I'm good with Excel. I learned in so and so place and I'm good with Excel. But if they ask me the same question, I say that I'm a Microsoft Excel expert. How does it sound? Like I know Excel is sounding good or uh, I'm a Microsoft Excel expert is sounding good. Definitely the certification adds more value there. So if anyone is looking for these kind of badges and the certifications, if you want to, uh, you can let the front office know and they will also let you know the process of going for the Microsoft certification, which is globally accepted certification, not just only in Hyderabad or not in India. You go into Canada or Australia or UK or Germany or the US, wherever it is, it's the same certification online exam. We also train you on that, right? Whatever the topics that you learn are already part of the certification, but just to just to uh, make sure you get some good score and all, we give you a one, one and a half hour training for the certification also, right? So the things that are that you are learning here are just not only, uh, you know, basics of Excel wherein people say that, I mean, somehow people treat Excel is like a very simple tool, but uh, what I see Excel is that Excel can, using Excel, we can design a complete ERP solution for a company. Those many features are, Right. So looking for certification, 
reach out to the front office, they'll let you know the process, right? But for that, you need to write an online exam, uh, which is a thousand marks total. Microsoft, yes, you will get the certification from Microsoft, right? Uh, thousand marks is the exam, and seventy percent is the cutoff. Seven hundred is what you need to get. You may be thinking all other exams are thirty five percent, forty percent, right? No, Microsoft. Microsoft doesn't want, you know, 35%, 40% people anymore, okay? They want top class, right? But thing is that usually uh, anyone who does good practice, getting a 900 plus is very, very easy. After all, training, for sure. We are not only just training you, and we are also making you ready for the Microsoft certification, but it's up to you. We kept it optional because certification costs around 6,000 rupees. That's the reason. If it is a free one, I even I, I push you to go for it. There is a price for it. That's the reason we are not making it like an uh, you know mandatory one. It's like an optional one. If you really want to have that badge on your profile, go for it because it adds up definitely some value. But if you feel like okay, six thousand spending on that is not worth. I mean, depends depends on the individual. You know, if it is a six thousand certification, uh, if I'm getting because the other few certifications I had to spend thousands of rupees. Okay, and this is one of those certifications which comes at a very very affordable price. You go for any click view certification, which is about like 25,000, 26,000. Uh, Tableau certification is around 15,000, 16,000, right? So this is like a very affordable one. Up to you, optional one, no mandatory, it's up to you. If you want to go for it, let them know, they will arrange. Uh, otherwise also it's okay. You, you will learn the skill from us. You just need to showcase, that's it, okay? Right, any other questions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all the pricing related ones you need to talk to the front office on right be it any kind of a thing any kind of a course any uh, timings material download video access everything uh, front office only the batch number is uh, <clears throat> b00523 this is the batch number Okay, B00523, any information that you need or any link you need, any material you need, video you need, just mention that B00523, enough. they will be able to give you that. Okay, B00523 is your batch number. Right? Online participants, any questions? Yeah, sir, one question. Mm -hmm. So for online users, like once uh, the class, uh, I mean, like uh, the session is done, we need to practice in Excel, right? So for online people, you will be providing any Excel access or how we need to practice, sir? So you see, if you have a laptop, the material will be anyway shared with you. And uh, if you have MS Excel in your laptop, uh, fine. You can just uh, just download all these files and you will be practicing. That's it. If you are okay. looking for MS Excel license also, you can reach out to the front office. They can arrange directly comes from Microsoft, uh, but there is a license fee. But lifetime value. Once you buy it, it's lifetime. Okay, so and all so the material files will be shared with you. Go on. Yeah, you will be providing this uh, uh, product key also for Excel access. Ah, uh, yes, yes. You can reach out to the front office. They will let you know the process of downloading and all. Mm, okay, okay, sir. Sure, thank you. Yeah. Okay, your batch number is 523, you can say, B00523, excellent. Okay, great then, I keep it short for today. And uh, from our next session onwards, uh, I'll be taking you through the content. I'll explain you step by step, and uh, then I'll also ask you the questions. I'll give you the tests. Uh, as per the plan from it's from tomorrow, but just in case if the registrations and all is still in, you know, happening and all, then maybe one day they usually give a break just to make sure, you know, we are forming a batch and all. So if everything is okay from today onwards, I mean, so tomorrow onwards will be start, but otherwise from Wednesday. That's how it is. One day only we get the gap. That's it. No, we don't delay much. One day only we do. Just in case if they are still expecting few more students and not maybe that is also only one thing not more than that. So tomorrow is tomorrow. yeah tomorrow morning itself you will get the confirmation like uh, we look at the registrations and all and if everything is okay and everything is sorted out then we'll start off from tomorrow onwards otherwise day after tomorrow for sure yeah
cool then so thanks everyone for attending today if you don't have any questions we're done for today and i'll see you all in our next session online participants if you have any questions please let us know okay i consider that as no and thanks for joining and uh, hope you got some awareness about how the sessions would be and i'll see you all uh, in our next session thanks everyone bye thank you sir thank you bye